Hi, Jordan. Stefan here from Hey You Guys. How are you? Oh, good. Um, good. I'm just going to begin uh, by asking, I mean, what is it about this particular story that just um, inspired you so much as a filmmaker? Uh, the, the fact that it explored the possibility of a marriage surviving tragedy and a human being surviving tragedy, one. And two, uh, the, the central story of a young boy who doesn't know who he is and questioning that. And uh, I have a sister that used to be my brother, and in many ways this story is rooted in that same sort of an identity exploration. There's something so enchanting about having films where you have the central character being a child and we kind of adopt their quite blissful perspective. I mean, what do you think it is about that that just creates such kind of wondrous cinema? Uh, well, I think, I think that's a great question. I think art in general and storytelling in general always is going to bring us back to our childhood. And our suspension of disbelief was so much greater back then. And as a result of that suspension of disbelief, there was a richness and a deep depth to our per capacity to interface with those stories. So I think part of it is that. This particular story, I think it would have been a little unseemly if he was an adult man trying to explore some culture and glom onto it for some, it, that would have been kind of a little creepy to me, but, but it's not that. It's just a child who literally doesn't understand his calling. He doesn't understand why he's being drawn to this place on the other side of the world. And this time last year, I interviewed Lenny Abrahamson and Brie Larson for Room, and they just both spoke about they just couldn't bear to be torn away from, from uh, young Jacob yeah. after the set because he's just uh, so charming. I mean, what was your experience like working well, with him? He's a, he's a, look, he's two people, at least two, because the boy on my set was not the boy in Room, and it was not the boy in my movie, and it's not the boy in the red carpet. So he's at least four people, right? But, but his, um, his capacity to tell the truth when he's, telling, when he's acting, is in, it's insane. It's, it, it doesn't... It, it, there are very few people who can do it, let alone his age. Does it surprise you every time? Always. And I, hey, listen, I got to go home and, I mean, come here, Toronto, and edit the movie for five months. And it was, uh, you know, every single frame of the movie, the kid is incapable of an inauthentic. There are moments that are better than others for a variety of reasons. There's no moment that's better because it's truthful. And he's incapable of acting untruthfully. And the film has a really beautiful score. So I think Jonathan, Jonathan Goldsmith that you yeah. collaborated with on this. I mean, what was that process like? Did you get involved in that side of things? Gosh, yeah, we sat next to each other and screamed and yelled and had a blast for, you know, two months. He's an amazing artist. The score of this movie is spectacular. He just, he just dove in. He's my cousin, that's why I asked that question. Oh, well, you tell him I said so. <laughs> right Cheers, thank you so much for your time. Thank Ladies you. and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey You Guys. Is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey!